In this fast-paced world, where everyone needs a place to slow down, the Pontiac Free Library is the perfect place for that. Located in the historic Pontiac Village, this transporter to a simpler time is a great place to wind down and check out a book. The Pontiac Free Library Association has been around for 126 years. It was first established on September 18, 1884, when the Pontiac Mills were still up and running. The Pontiac Free Library Association, in its earliest form, existed in a one-room schoolhouse located next to the mills on Knight Street. It housed over 600 volumes, which were available to the residents of the village. Then, in 1932, the Pontiac Free Library Association moved its headquarters to a renovated store on Greenwich Ave. Finally, on February 10, 1957, the final building in which the library is housed in now was dedicated and then opened to patrons the very next day. Well, I started working here at the library in October 2001, so I've been here for nine years now. Um, at this library and it's been a great experience. I really enjoy working here. I've been coming to the library for about 10 years. My parents have brought me ever since I was younger. I've been coming to this library since I was eight, so it's probably about 22 years. The library field has changed very much from when I first started working in libraries, dramatically. Um, computers have made the biggest difference. And even in the nine years that I've been working here at this library, there's been a big difference. For one thing, we offer a lot more computing computers to the public. That is one of the biggest uses one of, of the library. I like that it's right down the street from my house, and it's a very resourceful place for when I want to come get books for my project. Um, this library is a special place because, because of its size, because it's small, and we do uh, get to know our patrons very well. And that's probably the best service that we can provide, in the, that we do get to know the people who come in. We can know most of them by name. We often know what it is they want, what they're looking for. Um, it, it's, um, it's a service that it, you maybe cannot always get in a larger library, uh, which is understandable where they have many people coming back and forth, but here we can, we can do that for people and um, I think that that's our best service. Well, when I was younger I liked the fact that I could walk to the library from my home. And as I grew up, I just like the fact that it's smaller, it's intimate, cozy. The librarians know you after a while. It's just nice to come. Well, this neighborhood, this library is um, not just a neighborhood library. It does serve, of course, the people who live in the neighborhood, but there are many people who come to the library from surrounding neighborhoods. And um, I think we mostly it's word of mouth. People hear about us from somebody who likes the library. They come in, they try it, they like it too. And um, I don't see a lot of people coming in from generation to generation because people seem to have moved on. There's a lot of transition in the area. I do see neighborhood children who will come in on their own if they're old enough to come to the library or people who live within walking distance walking to the library. But, um, but it is definitely, it's just people hearing about it from other satisfied library patrons, mostly, that how we get our patrons. So why not slow down from this busy world and stop by the Pontiac Free Library?